Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Tinker Engineering. Today, we're going to be doing a paintbrush organizer. And you can really organize like anything in this. You can organize paintbrushes, pencils, markers, really anything. Not, not paper, don't organize paper in this, guys. Okay, so guys, let's get started. Oh, by the way, make sure to like and subscribe to Tinker Engineering. Let's go. First thing you will need is a piece of driftwood or any type of wood. I just found this on the beach. The safety glasses because safety first. All different sizes of drill bits. You will be needing some paint brushes, colored pencils that need a home, a sharpie to mark your drill holes, some string, two thumbtacks. Roll press. Um, make sure if you're younger, make sure you get adult supervision or adult help with this. We're gonna start making the driftwood paintbrush holder. We're gonna be marking our uh, piece of driftwood. So how we're going to do this is we're going to push a thumbtack in the side of it and I'm gonna be doing the middle holes first. So make sure the thumbtack has the string attached to it. You're going to make sure it's straight you're gonna take your other thumbtack, as you can see right here, and you're going to push it in. So make sure this is tight so your holes aren't all wonky. Okay, so now we're gonna start marking. So we're just gonna mark them where we need them. So I want a hole here, um, another hole here. I'm going to be putting in like paint brushes and only paint brushes. I don't want to put any pencils because that doesn't work out for me. I just prefer to have a paintbrush holder rather than a colored pencil holder. Because I already have about 15 pencil cases. So you're going to take one thumbtack and move it to another row. So you can make another row of holes. This string is used to mark your lines to make sure they are straight. Okay, so right now I'm about to make my third line of holes. We're going to be taking the tacks off, so I took them off and we're going to be putting them aside for now. And we're going to be using the drill press. Make sure you have your safety goggles on. Drill press, please. Okay, so I marked off this yellow line is actually going to be the spot where I stop drilling. So I'm going to drill in until the wood barely hits the yellow line. Here we go. to be drilling a bunch of holes all over. Okay guys, last hole. Oh, 
That's hilarious how much sawdust this thing made. Okay. And I'm just going to get all this stuff out of the holes. You guys see that? It's like a waterfall back here. Okay, let's get on this side. Okay. There's like sawdust falling. Now we're going to be putting all our paintbrushes and pencils inside our paintbrush holder. This is your finished product. So you can put whatever brushes, whatever things fit in this. Like markers, pencils, pa- No, not paper. Don't put paper in here, guys. Don't put paper. Like, should I put in the Sharpie? This is a marker, so let's see if it fits. It's like, mm, mm. There's bugs on this. Okay. Um, yeah, it fits. So most things would fit on this, depending on how large your drill bit is. So yeah. Okay guys, make sure to like and subscribe to Tinker Engineering. Um, I really hope you enjoy this video. So yeah. Also this brush is super soft. I really like this. My, my, my brush, not yours. So if anyone wants to um, like send in a uh, like signs, Tinker Engineering signs. I could put all the signs that are sent in together in one big poster, and I could make that part of my background over here. So yeah, if you guys want to do that, that would be totally great. So yeah, guys. Bye.